and Lisa from Mythical Witchery. Welcome to my channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm doing a flip through and review of the Creatures Tarot. This is an indie deck by UK artist Sarah Kathleen. This is a sister deck to the Creatures Oracle, which isn't available at the moment, but it may be available as an add-on to a deck that Sarah will be releasing hopefully the end of February or early March of this year. So this deck was first published on Kickstarter in 2023 and was fully funded in three hours. It's available for sale on her website for £40 and I will put a link to that in the description box below. This is an 80 card deck with an additional arcana available as well. So Sara says in describing this deck, it is designed to strip away many of the barriers that are often found in more traditional tarot decks. Creatures Tarot has simplified imagery that helps you connect with messages quickly before referencing outside sources. The creatures help us see the card meanings for what they are without quite as much projecting of our own human expectations onto them. They are accessible, friendly, and honest. So this comes, as you see, in a sturdy two-piece box. This is the back. I think it's really, really cute. That's the inside of the box, so nothing special inside. Now what I have is the, I do have the extra Arcana. I'm going to put that aside for now. We'll have a look at that at the end. It comes with a little guidebook that gives basic and um, information on each of the cards. So a handy little reference guide. So these are the backs. I think they're really, really pretty. So these measure 70 by 120 millimeters or 2.75 by 4.75 five inches which is standard tarot size these are 310 gsm black core so they're casino quality they are a matte finish very very flexible and very durable they have no borders on them no edging so you can edge them any way that you like so I'm going to turn the camera over and we'll have a look at each individual card. Then we'll give them a shuffle. We'll have a look at the extra arcana cards and have a little chat about the deck. So we're going to start with the two bonus cards, which are included with every deck. We've got starting with the journey and the booklet says our personal journey through a situation, our life path, the ups and downs of everything. And the other bonus card is belief. Deep confidence in what our heart and mind tell us. Personal convictions. Having faith in something. And then getting into the major arcana. We have the fool. The Magician. The Priestess. The Empress. Emperor, the 
the Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Sorry about that. Jelly Bean has found a little toy. <laughs> and he's making noise. Okay. Now he no longer has that. It's actually a, a tea light he was playing with. The Hanged Man. No, it wasn't lit. Oh, hello. Hello, Jelly Bean. Have you come to check out these cards? Death. Temperance. The Devil. Tower. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. And moving into the Minor Arcana, starting with the Wands. The Two. Three of Wands. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. 
کن پیج نایر Queen of Wands and the King and then moving into the Cups Four. Five. I love how she's been, she's managed to make this creature look sad. Six. I'm trying to keep my commentary to a minimum as we're looking through these cards and then I'll talk about what I think about them after. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten of Cups. Page. Night. Queen. King. And moving into the swords. Six. Seven.
Ten of Swords. Page. Night. Queen. King. Moving into the pentacles. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight of Pentacles. Page. Night. Queen. And the king. Okay, now we'll take a, a look at the extra arcana, which you can buy separately. Side by side with the one that comes with the deck. So on the right is the one that comes with the deck. And on the left will be the extra one that you can buy, should you want it. And then you can... You can use it separately if you want, or you can um, go through and pick out your favorites and kind of create your own deck. So again, this is the original one and this is the extra.
hard to pick <laughs> for me because some of the, I mean some of these it's it's really clear to me oh I prefer this one or that I prefer that one but some of them it's really hard to choose so if you don't want to be stuck with a quandary then you may not want to buy the extra deck but if you don't mind I'm really glad I did, honestly, because even if I just changed out a, f a couple of cards, it's worth it to me. It's lovely to have the choice. I really love this deck. It's There's just something about it. It's so simple and it just makes me feel kind of peaceful. Hello again, Jelly Bean. Watch that tail. He gets up here on this desk, which is right by a window. And he can see birds out through the window. And oh my goodness, his tail. I, You have no idea how strong a cat's tail is until it starts knocking over big crystal towers. I prefer this one. Here we've got the difference in spelling. Um, here's the traditional UK spelling, and here is the more American spelling. So you can choose which one you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to go through these again, and I think I'm going to try to pick my favorites. And if you want, to, if you don't want to watch me do that, you can go ahead and skip ahead uh, to the shuffle or my final thoughts, whatever you like. But I'm just going to take a few minutes to go through these and choose my favorite. So I think I would pick this one. Um, I think I think I'm not as much a fan of the, the thicker lines on his tools here. Otherwise, I would choose this one. But I think I'm going to go with this one. This one is tough for me. Really tough. I love this. I love this. But I also like her. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one here. So the Empress. I love the colors on this one. So I'm going to go with that one. This is tough because I love the colors here, but this one, it just seems more powerful to me. And I think the colors are better suited to the Emperor, so I think I'll go with that one. This one is a, a bit difficult for me as well. Like I love the, the idea of the wisdom of the owl here, um, but here we've got, you know, the Hierophant teaching possibly teaching could be teaching about the moon could be you know so that that's difficult but i think i'm going to stick with this one the lovers i'm gonna i don't know i love the colors here and yet here to me this is more still along the line of the creatures rather than the birds but oh gosh i love this card that's a tough choice I think I'm going to go with this one. The Chariot. Oh, this is another difficult choice for me. Because I love, love, love this nail here. But I also love this. I'm going to go with this one. Strength. Oh, sorry about that. Jelly Bean decided to get down and shake my camera. This one, 
see, I'm not so sure about this. I, I get it. I do get it. But this, something about this card, I don't know. I, I don't know. This says strength to me more than this one does, but this is a difficult one. What would you do? Which one would you choose? I think I'm going to go with this one. The Hermit. I'm, I love this one. I love this one. Look at them there on the tree. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to go with this one. Justice. I think I will choose this one just because it's... I love that. Yeah. The Hanged Man. This is a difficult choice again. Um, I think this one, because this seems to suggest more, I don't know. Yeah, this one. I'm going to pick that one. Death. I love them both. Oh gosh, I love them both. I really, I really love the mushrooms here because mushrooms, you know, are, they're something that has, has come out of, oops, what are you doing, Jelly Bean? Knocking stuff. Careful. Because, you know, mushrooms grow out of things that are decaying, you know, and yet, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Careful, buddy. Try not to step on everything. Temperance. I think I'll choose this one. The devil. Hmm. See, they're both wrapped up, but this one's more subtle than this one. I think I'm going with this one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is a tough one for me. Because this... Yeah, that, that acts and just what it suggests, it... Yeah, and yet here we've got, but this is maybe more traditional, where this is more of a, I'm going to go with this one. I'd love to hear what you think of my choices here. Star. I love this. Yeah. The moon. Okay. <laughs> I love them both, but this one here, where he's sitting on the moon, it just, I don't know, it just delights me. It really does. The sun. This one. Because this, to me, that could be more like, like a moon, you know? Now, being that I grew up in Canada, <laughs> I... You know, I could, I mean, Canadians spell the UK way, but living next to America, we see the American way as well. So I could go either way, but I think I'm going to go with this one just because I'm less crazy about the angel. Mind you. See, this one, you've got the suggestion where he's examining himself. going with this one and this one this one I think okay so those are my choices now I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll have a look at how they shuffle and then have a few final thoughts okay so let's have a look at how these shuffle so they are, because they are uh, 310 GSM, they're not a, it, this is not a thick deck. The cards are very flexible. Um, you know, having said that about the 310 GSM, I just want to repeat again that these are black core and they're casino grade. 
so these will last a long time they're going to hold up so let's see nice and flexible these have a very very similar feel to linen they shuffle really well really well and they overhand okay it's a bit awkward because I've got my arm underneath um, my camera holder here so it's a bit awkward to get in and shuffle these properly so they're a nice really nice shuffle and let's see how they fan out let me try that again come back a little bit <laughs> don't clump together they're just they're really nice okay so my final thoughts on this deck I really love it I love this deck I oh I wish that the creatures oracle was available and I know that she plans to have it available um this year i can't wait to get it because i think that would be just amazing to you know for this as a, a tarot and that as an oracle to pair that up for readings look at that card it's just so beautiful the colors are gorgeous the simplicity of of the creatures and yet the rest of the art is is really quite complex you know so the backgrounds are are very detailed, but the creatures are simple, and I I really love it. I love it. It's it's fun, it's but it's still serious. If that makes sense at all, does that make sense? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't make sense. It makes sense to me. I love it. It just feels very honest to me. It feels kind, if that makes sense. You know, even though you're going to get, look at that, how he's reaching out of the cloud there, a little creature. <laughs> it just, it's really cute. You know, you'll you'll get an honest reading, but it's also, there. there's a gentleness to it and a kindness, you know, so that the message is delivered, but in a way that's not confronting. If that, if that makes sense. How many times have I said that today? <laughs> Too many, I think. So, yes, I love this deck. I love it. I'm going to be using it for the next week in my cards and a cuppa. And, well, and beyond. I actually see myself using this deck quite a lot. So, what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. So share them in the comments below. I read and respond to everything. I love that. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful deck. Sara, you did a fantastic job with this. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Cannot wait to see what you're coming up with next. Can't wait for your Kickstarter to launch in a couple of months. I'm excited. Okay, there's one last look at the lovely, beautiful bags. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, may love and laughter light your days. Bye for now. <laughs>